All right, class. Uh, welcome, welcome today. Uh, this hour is a vocabulary hour, and we are going to, to be uh, finishing up the transportation and uh, and traveling aspect of our vocabulary, and we may get into uh, some other words. Um, I I, uh, I have another uh, uh, list of uh, vocabulary words that I want to uh, that I want to practice, but I could not upload them into the system. So we may just have to look at them on my screen uh, until I can upload them all right but uh, yes for uh, for this hour we'll be uh, um, finishing up transportation and travel and then getting into uh, the other topic which would be building and places so uh, 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 restaurants uh, offices um, post office you know things like that and, and what we would see inside of those places okay uh, so the uh, the link that we'll be going over is right here okay uh, go ahead and and open up that link when you do let's see it looks like my camera just quit on me all right see Okay, here we go. Um, so yes, uh, this is the uh, the same sheet that we've been going over. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a Google uh, image uh, just in uh, just in case we need some more images as we go through here. All right, so let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Esther, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Welcome to class today. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Jose? How are you, Jose? I am fine. Thank you. Hello. Fabulous. Uh, good to have you here. Uh, Michele, how are you? Good teacher. Excellent. Good to good to see you in class. Good to see you too. Uh, medium. Medium. Hello. How are you? Hi I'm there. <laughs> Fabulous. Good to have you back. Uh, thanks. And Samantha, how are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Good to see you again. Uh, Vincenzo, how are you? Vincenzo, can you hear me okay? Maybe not so much. Uh, how about uh, Bruno? How are you, Bruno? Fine, thanks. You? I'm doing great. Welcome to class, uh, Bruno. Thank have you, you uh, have you uh, been in my class before? Uh, maybe yes, just one, just one time. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, you. All right. Let me try Vincenzo one more time. Vincenzo, mm. can you hear me? There you yeah. are. How mm -hmm. how are you doing? Which moment? All right, very good. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, everybody. Uh, oh, welcome, dear. Oh, dear. welcome, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, Fabricio made it in. How are you, Fabricio? All right. Well, uh, I'll come back. I'll come back to you in just one moment. Okay. So, the uh, the idea with the class is we'll take a look at our vocabulary words, uh, discuss them a little bit. All right. Then I would like for you to use them in a sentence. All right. To use one of the words in a in a, a sentence. Okay. If if you are having a if you're having trouble um, creating that sentence. Okay, uh, then uh, then I'll uh, I can help you with that. Okay, uh, I also want to remind you to uh, to keep your your microphones on uh, uh, on mute. Okay, uh, until it is your turn to speak. Uh, sometimes there are noises that uh, that are around you that you may not think are loud, but uh, come come through in the microphone as being very loud. Um, let's see, Cicero, how are you? Cicero, can you hear me okay? No, 
Nope, I can't hear you. Can I can't you hear, hear me you. now? Yeah, now I can hear you. How you doing, Cicero? I'm fine, thanks. And you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Okay, you guys, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let me put the link in here one more time. Okay, uh, it's in the chat box. If uh, if you cannot see it, let me uh, guide you to where it is. Okay, over here on the right hand side, you're going to come down here. All right, to this link right here, and click on it. All right, it'll open up to the page that will be uh, that we'll be going over. All right. So uh, go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to uh, my page that I already have open. And <clears throat> here we're, we are going to scroll down. We've already gone through most of these words. So we are going to scroll down past page number one, past page number two, okay, past page number three. And I believe we ended with Subway, okay? So we only have uh, about a page left to go through, and then we'll probably get to um, buildings and places, okay? That's, a, that's another thing that we'll, we'll probably get to, okay? So for example, um, wow. Um, sorry, we have a, a guy that's advertising that's coming close to the house. All right, so, um, so here, for example, we talked about Subway yesterday. All right, Subway is a, a train that goes underground, and uh, we could use that in a sentence. Then we would say, I like to take the Subway to work. All right, a very simple sentence. All right, but I would like for you to read this, read the word. We'll talk about the word, and then I'll have you use the word in a sentence. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with our following word, and this is for uh, Bruno. Bruno, uh, go yes. ahead and read this word for me. Sweet guys. All right, very close. Now that word is pronounced su suitcase. Suitcase. Yeah, the I would not be pronounced there. Suitcase, okay? So what is a suitcase used for? Uh, I usually use a suitcase uh, for work to put something uh, like uh, paper, uh, books. Uh, uh. Okay. Mm. That, that, it, this, this, are be, this would be a very similar object. Okay, mm. um, what you would take to work is called a brief. Okay, now mm. a briefcase looks mm. like this. Okay, this is a briefcase. Okay. All right, and, and yes, you would take this. You would take this to work. Uh, you can put in uh, papers pens, your other documents, things like that. Okay, so, so this is a briefcase. Now, a suitcase is just a little... Okay, uh, it's shaped very similarly, mm -hmm. all right, but we use it to put clothes in there. Okay, yes. All right, so we use yes. it to hold our clothes when we travel. All right, that, that is a suitcase. We take a briefcase to work. Does that make sense, Bruno? Y y yes. Uh, okay. Very good. Let me have you use the word suitcase in a sentence. Um, I have to make a sentence using a suitcase? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, okay. I usually use a suitcase um, to put clothes when I go for holiday in a foreign uh, country. Okay, good. So I usually uh, use a suitcase uh, to uh, to now instead of saying uh, to put my to put the clothes, um, yeah. you could say to carry to carry my clothes. Okay. Carry my clothes when I go on holiday. Okay, very good. Thank you, Bruno. Uh, let's go to Cicero. And Cicero, this is another um, form of transportation, um, but uh, go ahead and read this word for me. 
Cicero, can you hear me okay? Make sure to unmute yourself. All right, let's go to Esther. Yeah, um, I, 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 a tank. Yes, a tank. Tank. A tank, okay. Good. All right, now, uh, what is a tank used for? I think it's used for um, by in in the in the war. Yeah, by, in war. In war. In war. Uh huh. And and who uh, who who drives a tank? Who I don't know. Uh, they are called soldiers. Soldiers. Uh, oh, sol soldiers. Uh huh. Yes, yes. I, I put the word in the chat box. The word is soldiers. So soldiers drive tanks. Those are the guys and, and, and girls that are in uh, the military or in the army. Now, the interesting thing about this word is that it means two different things. Okay. Now, uh, this here, yes, this is a tank. All right. But a tank can also be uh, kind of like a, a, uh, a uh, something that holds something else, like yes, I know. Okay, a water tank. Okay, so do you guys have these in your neighborhoods? I have one very close to me. Okay, it, this is a water water tank. Okay, it holds water. Okay, and it's a very large uh, object. Okay, um, this as well, even though it's not as large, we would call this a water tank as well. All right, so when you hear the word tank, okay, pay attention. Pay attention because it may not mean a war tank that shoots bombs. Okay, it may mean something that holds maybe water, maybe a grain. Okay, that would be food, things like that. So you can have a tank um, that uh, that it, uh, of water or another object. But if you're talking about war and they say tank, pretty sure they're talking about the machine. All right, very good. Uh, so Esther, let me have you use the word tank in a sentence. I tank. Uh, I have never uh, see a tank. Okay, I have never seen with an N at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make sure you pronounce that N. Try that one more time. Ah, okay. I have never seen a tank. I have never seen a tank. Excellent. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And Cicero, I, I hope you are able to uh, fix uh, fix the problem so you can participate with us. Uh, let's go to Fabricio. How are you, Fabricio? Hello, I'm fine, thanks. Fabulous. Good to have you here. Let's go to our next word. Taxi. Okay, what is this? Um, taxi driver. A taxi, good. Yeah, yeah so we have a taxi and a car. taxi driver. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, what are taxis used for? Uh, for transportation. I mean, the people to get to another place, maybe. Yeah. So, so you would pay someone who owns a, a car, okay, or owns a, yes. a taxi, and that person would drive you uh, to wherever you want to go, right? Yes. Yeah, so that, that is a taxi, all right? Do you have very many taxis in your city, Fabricio? Yes, we have many taxis. <laughs> A lot of yeah, people use it. Exactly, exactly. Yes, many people here use taxis as well. All right, so um, uh, go ahead and use the word taxi in a sentence for me. My classmate, oh, sorry, my friend's father is a taxi driver. Okay, all right, so taxi driver. Yeah, so we're using both these. Yeah, and a taxi driver is the person who drives the taxi. Drives the taxi. All right, yeah, very good. Yeah, either a woman, a man, a woman or a man. 
but it's more common to see a man driving a taxi here in Ecuador. Yeah, I, in, in fact, it, it is. But here in Costa Rica, I've seen two women. And I jumped in into a taxi that had a woman driver. I was like, oh, you're a woman. And she says, yeah, there aren't very many of us. But, uh, but we do drive taxis sometimes. And I think the main reason for that is because it's dangerous, okay? Because taxi drivers have to have money with them, and robbers know that. And so they could jump in, and it would be easier for them to, uh, to uh, rob someone that they could overpower, all right, uh, than, uh, than a man which they may not be able to overpower. So that's why I think. But yeah, it was it was great. She got us where we were going. Very good. Thank you. Let's go to Jose. All right, Jose, we're going to skip over taxi driver. We've spoken about that just a little bit. Okay. What is this next word here, Jose? Uh, ticket. Jose, can uh, you hear me? Okay. Sorry, sorry. There you are. Uh, let me go. Uh, yes, ticket. You need a ticket for to travel and for to go to see movies and to go to the theater. And yeah, exactly. So we use tickets for all, all sorts of things: going to the movies, going to the theater, and then for travel, we use it. We can get a ticket to ride the train, sometimes to ride the bus, and. Uh, uh, more often than not, to uh, fly on a plane. That's when we need a ticket. All right, and usually the ticket has the uh, the information here on it. Now, if uh, if you are in the United States and you are speeding, and a police officer pulls you over, okay, he would also write you a ticket. So a ticket can be a good thing. Okay, something that you pay for to ride on a plane or a train, but it can also be a bad thing. Okay, if you are speeding, the uh, the police officer would give you a, a ticket. Then you have to take that and you have to pay a fine. All right, and that's not always fun. So we use the same word for both things: uh, something, uh, a ticket or a pass to be able to ride on something. Okay, and then if you are uh, if you break the law you are written a ticket okay so Jose uh, please use the word ticket for us in a sentence okay uh, I have to buy a ticket to go to London great I have to buy a ticket to go to London very good nice and simple all right Michele Okay, let me have you read this word for me. Mm, tow truck. Yeah, a tow truck. And what does a tow truck do? I never, <laughs> I never heard about that. But I think that you need uh, a tow truck when your um, when your car didn't want to to go on. Yeah, yeah. So when your car uh, doesn't move anymore, when it when it breaks down. Yes. All right, so let's uh, let's see here. These are some pictures of tow trucks. Okay, uh, some of them have a crane. This here is a crane in the back. All right, uh, others have what's called a flatbed. This is a flatbed tow truck, and it lifts the uh, vehicle up like that. Okay, mm -hmm. if you've seen the movie Cars, all right, remember no, this guy here? Him. Yep, he is a tow truck. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, these ones here, uh, if you have a semi truck, so you've seen the trucks that have the front that looks like this. If they break down, they need a very large tow truck to pull them because they're very heavy. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are called tow trucks as well, but more specifically, they are called wreckers. All right. Because they're bigger and they're stronger. Okay. Can you write this, please? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, this is this is called wreckers. Okay. A wrecker is a is a larger tow truck. There it is. A wrecker is a larger tow truck that pulls semi trucks. 
Okay. Uh, yes. So yes, there's all different types of tow trucks. All right. So, um, Michele, let me have you use the word tow truck in a sentence, please. Hmm. Two years ago, my car broke down in the middle of the street, and I had to call a tow truck. There you go. I had to call a tow truck because my car broke down in the middle of the street. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Great. Let's go to medium. Uh, yes. Okay. Our next word is right here. Go ahead and read that, please. Uh, okay. Um, traffic signal. Good. A traffic signal. Let's practice that TR at the beginning. Tr traffic signal. Traf traffic signal. Good. One more time. Traffic signal. Traffic signal. Oh. Excellent. Now, we also call this, this a, okay, a traffic light. Yes. Okay. We call them both things. Okay. So, a traffic signal or a traffic light. Okay. okay. Most, most cities have these nowadays, but uh, in the city that I used to live in, in, uh, in Honduras, um, they just barely got their first traffic signal. I think it was last year. Okay, the first one ever in the history of their, of their city. And they just barely got one. So that was the city that I used to live in. And they also just barely got their first indoor supermarket. So yes, um, they, didn't, they don't have all of the, uh, the fancy things that, uh, that most people do. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's talk about the traffic signal. What does a traffic signal do, Medium? Um, it, um, uh, when, uh, when I um, uh, read uh, the driver um, has uh, to stop, no? Good, uh -huh. um, exactly. Uh, for example, I'm um, going uh, continue. Um, yeah, they would continue. A yellow or oh, in my uh, my um, country um, on my yes um, uh, green or oh, oh, yellow, no? Uh, okay. Slowly. Yeah. Yes, yes, slowly. Okay, so to go slower. So yes, in in most countries, red, the color red is stop. Okay, so stop, yeah. don't go any further. Okay, green is go. Okay, you can continue yeah. on. Yellow is, whoa, slow down because it will almost turn red. Yeah. Okay, so that that is uh, exactly how they're used. They are to control vehicles and traffic movement. All right, and there's different types of uh, traffic signals that are out there. Okay, um, sometimes sometimes they're on a pole like this. Okay, uh, sometimes you'll see see ones that are are four direction or you know they have multiple directions, so this direction and this direction. Okay, things like that. Um, other times, let's see. Other times, uh, you may see them like this, where it's an arrow that's green, okay, and it hangs out over the street, just like this, and it also reminds you of the speed limit. All right, so there's, there's different kind, types of traffic signals and traffic lights. All right, so medium, uh, please use the word traffic signal in a sentence. Um, okay. Um, um, uh, in in the uh, hot way, the there aren't traffic signal. Good on on the um, and that word would be highway. On the highway, highway there yes. there are not uh, or they do not have traffic signals on the highway would probably be the best way. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, 
All right. So yeah, you can say on the highway they don't have traffic signals, mm -hmm. but it would probably feel a little bit more comfortable saying they do not have traffic signals on the highway. Okay. Okay. So just just a slight difference, but very good. Excellent job. Very good sentence. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Samantha. And our next word here. Uh, go ahead and read this, please. Trailer. Yeah, and let's practice that TR sound. Tr trailer. Trailer. There you go. One more time. Trailer. Trailer. Good. Now, when we pronounce a TR sound, okay, we can sort of think of that like a CH. So instead of saying tre, okay, we do a ch sound, tr trailer. So it's trailer. like a CH and a TR together, trailer, just like that. Okay. Okay. And that's you can you can pronounce every word that starts with a TR just like that. Tree, trailer, trust, trial. They all have that same tr sound. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Samantha, what is a trailer used for? A trailer is used for uh, travel uh, to go on holiday. Yeah. Good. So they're used used to go uh, traveling. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Use it uh, to sleep in. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some uh, travel trailers. Is what we would call them. Okay, so here are some pictures of some travel trailers. So this is a, a smaller travel trailer, all right? And this is a very large, fancy one. Okay, so they have, they have places where it would rise up, okay, in a, a room. Okay, things would, would pop down out of the side. And uh, these trailers can be very expensive. But on the inside, you have everything that you would need. A, this would be a refrigerator here, a stove, a microwave, a uh, sink, a small table to eat at. All right, so yes, these these trailers can be very very fun, and uh, and many people um, in in the United States when they retire they don't buy a house, they buy a trailer and they travel to all parts of the United States, and sometimes that's fun for them. Okay, uh, and Samantha, have you ever been in a trailer before? No, no, I never been. Okay, I've been in a, I've been in a trailer once because my grandparents had one, and oh. that was the only time I, I've been in one. So let's see, um, Samantha, let me have you use the word trailer in a sentence. Okay. Um... Trailer is used by people who uh, want uh, to not uh, spend uh, enough money for uh, travel. Okay, all right. And so instead of saying enough money, we would say a lot of money. A lot of money, yes. Okay, very good. So, yeah. Yes, a trailer is used uh, by people who don't want to spend a lot of money on travel, okay, or in staying in hotels and things like that. Yes. Very yes. good. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Vincenzo. Sorry, teacher. Can I have your question? Uh, sure. What's your question? So, there is some trailer that you don't need a car. You need to be called the comforts. Uh, yeah, that would, be, uh, that would be like a, um, it would be a camper or a, uh, I think they may actually call call it a Winnebago. But let's let's see if they if I can uh, grab some pictures real quick. So these here would be camping trailers, but if we have uh, a camper, uh, camper maybe let me let me try that. Okay, so uh, you're thinking of something that's a little bit like this, right? Yeah. So it, it's it's a solid vehicle. Okay. Yeah, it's a, solid yeah. vehicle. a solid vehicle. Here's another one here. 
okay um, like this as well yeah these would be campers uh, you could also call these Winnebago's okay um, can you write this please is, yeah let me make sure that I'm spelling it right Winna yeah right here okay so Winnebago um, and the reason for that is because the 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 first person who developed it um, called it a Winnebago, and so sometimes just like with uh, with Kleenex, mm -hmm. okay, um, instead of calling that tissue paper, we call that Kleenex to blow our nose, even though it's the word is not Kleenex, but we call it that because the first person who invented it called it Kleenex even though it's called tissue paper so it's the same thing with a Winnebago it could be called a camper but not very many people know it by that name but if you say Winnebago they say oh they get yeah, I know what a Winnebago <laughs> is yeah exactly so it's it's uh, sort of like that okay Thank very, very good much. question yeah no problem uh, let's go to Vincenzo can you hear me okay Okay, let's go to um, back up to Bruno. Yeah. All right, Bruno, go ahead and read the next word for me, please. Train. Good. good. Nice T R sound. Train. Okay. And uh, what what is a train used for? Uh, use a train to uh, for journey. Uh, to travel, uh, usually when uh, you have to to go in uh, in another place, uh, different uh, when you are. Uh... Yeah, good. So for yeah. for traveling, yes. uh -huh. yeah, traveling, yes. you can. There are what's called passenger trains. Okay. Yeah. Passenger trains, those would be for passengers, so people like you and me could travel on it. We also have what are called cargo, cargo trains. All right, and cargo trains are similar, but they carry like a cargo ship. Okay, um, but uh, yes, a cargo train, it has the same front, but it carries these uh, these boxes. You see these here? These are called cargo, okay, cargo containers, or shipping containers, yes. right? And that would be a uh, that would be a cargo train. A passenger train is similar. All right, a passenger train is similar, um, but they're they're more more often than not they're nicer. They look they look better. Okay, so this is a train, okay, that's used by Governor Ted Strickland. Okay, so that's that's his yeah. the the train that they use. All right, here's another picture. Okay, so there's places for people to sit. Okay, yeah. Yeah. things like that. All right, so that would be a, a passenger train, very similar, uh, but they replace the the places where people could sit uh, with cargo and vice versa. So, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let me have you use the word train in a sentence, please. Yes. Um, yesterday, I got the train. I got the train to go to work. Okay. Uh, so, you can say, I got on the train to go to work or I took a train to go to work. Okay. If okay. you use the word got, you would have to have the preposition on. Okay, so I got on the train. Okay, yesterday okay. I got or on I the train. To go okay. to work, great, just like that. Excellent, nice job. Great, thank you. Let's go to Esther. And <laughs> Esther, let me have you read this next word, please. Um, tram. Tram. Yes, that, that is tram, tra tram, tram. Tram. There you go. Okay. And uh, what does it look like a tram does? I think it's, um, it's an uh, electric, electric, um, 
is is for uh, transportation uh, uh, people. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. and people can travel on it. Huh. All right, and and you're right. They are electric. Okay. Yes. Now um, they usually uh, go through the cities. All right, and they uh, they have a wire that is up here that uh, gives it power. All right, and let's see. I'll show you. I'll show you what we have in uh, in my city. Uh, let's go. To, yeah, so tracks. So that's what ours is called, and this is uh, this is these are our our trams. Okay, so it has a a, a power. Uh, it touches the wire up top. Okay. Goes through, and those are my beautiful mountains in the in the city that I'm from. Okay, but yeah, they look very similar to a train. Um, sometimes they don't go as fast because they work downtown. They are in the city, and so you don't want to hit people, okay, or cause any problems. But yes, these are our trams. They're trams, okay? So, um, now in, in Spain, do you have trams as well, or do you have trains and subways? Yeah, I, um, there there are uh, uh, subways and and there are tram uh, tr tram uh, uh, in outside outside in the city. Okay, very nice. All right, so let me have you use the word tram in a sentence. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so if you were to take a tram in Spain, where would you go? If you, if I take a tram, uh, I will. I I would go to um, to another. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, you could say uh, I I would take a tram to another city, or another to city. another part of the city. Okay, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that would be a, a, a simple sentence you could use. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, our next word, and this is for uh, Fabricio. Go ahead and read this, please. Um, tricycle. Yes, can you a hear me? Tricycle, I and I can. Yes, and a tricycle. Who rides on a tricycle? A uh, little kids. The boys little. under five years old, maybe. Yeah, little kids ride on tricycles. Uh, uh, Fabricio, did you have a tricycle when you were younger? No, just a small bicycle. Just a small bicycle. Uh, I had a I had a tricycle when I was when I was younger. Was there is there anybody in class that had a tricycle when they were when they were younger? <laughs> yes. No? Okay. yes, I had one. All right, Samantha did. Okay. Michele did. Okay, I, I I liked it. I used to I used to think I could go so fast and I would pedal oh, like... and I would pedal pedal. But yes, I, I look like Shining Case. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So I, I had I had a, a a a tricycle when I was little. Very good. Yes. And they're they're used for uh, for children. Uh, there's all different types. Uh, there's metal. Uh, there's uh, tricycles made of metal. Uh, there are tricycles that are made of plastic. Okay. And and we call it a tricycle. We call it a tricycle because there are three wheels. One, two, three. A tricycle. All right. Um, so yes, um, and they they have tricycles for adults as well. But yes, mainly mainly you see kids riding tricycles. All right. So uh, go ahead, Fabricio. Use the uh, sentence tricycle or use the word tricycle in a sentence, please. Uh, when I was a little kid, I have never um, tricycle. Okay, when I was a little kid, I never had a tricycle. I never had a tricycle. Thanks. 
Good. Nice job. Thank you. All right. Let's go to uh, Fluvio. How are you? Fluvio, can you hear me? All right. Let's go to Jose. Okay. Hi there. Okay. okay. So let's let's talk about these two types of trucks. Uh, truck. Okay, good. So let's practice that TR sound. We're going to say tr, truck. 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 Okay. Yeah, much better. All right. So this one here is actually called a box truck. Okay, it's called a box truck. Okay. And, the, and they are smaller. Okay, they still have a, a compartment or a container where you can uh, put things in them, okay, but they're not as long, okay, they're usually about 30, 30, uh, 28 to 35 feet long, okay, now, um, which would be about 10, 10 meters, they're probably, probably going to be anywhere from, um, let's see, uh, 18 to, 18 to, or sorry, 8 to 10 meters long, Okay, uh, that they they're a little smaller. Okay, these are called box trucks. Okay, but they still have a container, and the important thing with these is that it does not turn. Okay, so you have you have the truck. Okay, that's pulling it along. Okay, sometimes the truck can turn like this, and then the trailer turns around. It doesn't pivot. Okay, there isn't a pivot. There, it's solid. It's one truck. So you have the, the the compartment where where the driver sits and then the truck and it's one solid unit it's one piece okay the other truck is called a semi okay so a semi truck are these big ones Okay, and these, let me see if I can do the math really quick. Um, 3 divided by 50, 2. Um, these, are, these are going to be anywhere, the trailer themselves. So this part here, the trailer, is at least 17 meters long, <clears throat> at least. Okay, and then you probably have another... Um, five meters here. That's the size of the truck. Okay, so these these can be um, uh, up to what about 23, uh, 22, 23 meters long. Okay, and they're very large and they're very powerful. Okay, uh, the other difference is that here these uh, you have a bed. Okay, a place for a person to sleep. All right, uh, more often than not, okay? But these are, are used to go long distances, okay? So the semi-truck goes long distances, and the box truck, okay, this one here, goes shorter distances, all right? So, um, uh, uh, Jose, let me have you use, uh, and you can, you can choose uh, box truck, box truck mm -hmm. or semi-truck, and let me have you use those in a or one of those words in a sentence, okay? Okay. Uh, I am a driver of a big truck. Okay, I am a driver of a big truck. Definitely. Or you can say a semi truck. All right? Semi truck. Okay. Good. Nice job, Jose. Let's go to Michele. Yeah. All right, our next word here. Go ahead and read that, please. Van. Yes, a van. Okay, and what are vans used for? I think that we use van for transporting more than four people. Yeah. But more less than, than eight. Yeah, more than more than four, but less than eight. Okay, so a, a, a big family, right? Yes. It's okay. a sort of little, little bus. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a small bus. Now, a uh, van... Vans, uh, vans can also be used for work. Okay, so um, uh, these type of vans that do not have windows, 
Okay, you would use these for work. Yeah. All right, and plumbers sometimes would use them. Electricians uh, would use them. Okay, um, so we would call that a work. All right, let's see if we can get, get a good picture here. All right, so yeah, you may see a ladder. Okay, so you'll have a ladder on top. Okay, uh, maybe some some wires, maybe tubing, things like that. So these would mm -hmm. these would be different type of vans that are used for work. Okay, and then obviously the other one would be a passenger van that takes uh, between four and eight people. Sometimes they have larger vans that take up to uh, ten or fifteen people. Okay, but those we specify that we call that a fifteen passenger van and they're very very big okay so a 15 passenger van okay they're they're pretty long and they have an extended cab back here can, and this is can what we they look call like this inside. can we call this kind of an minibus um you you could but in um they would probably call that a minibus in uh in England Okay, I would imagine in the United States we would specify it and we would say, yes, I have a 15 passenger van. Okay, Great. I don't know why. I don't know why because we are we're um, known for kind of shortening things down. But with with this word or with this uh, particular uh, um, uh, item. We we call it a fifteen passenger van. I don't know why. And when I when I played music, I, I'm a professional musician. That's a, that's what I uh, I used to do. Um, I used to do that a lot. And I would travel around the United States. And we had a fifteen passenger van that me and my bandmates would live in for for a time. And uh, yeah, it was it was it was pretty fun. But yeah, we called it our fifteen passenger van. Don't know why. <laughs> But uh, very good. Uh, go ahead and, and use that in a sentence, Miguel. Mm. When I was younger, I liked to watch a movie, and it's called A Team, and they use a van. Yeah, the A Team. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I love it. That's great. I'm glad you remembered that. I was uh, I was actually uh, uh, watching the A team with my son about two weeks ago. I was like, my son, his name is Xander, and he's he's nine. Great. I, was like, I said, Xander, you need to watch this show. This is the greatest show ever. <laughs> and we sat down. He's like, this is boring. <laughs> no, no. But yeah, I look at BA. I love the A team. I know B A Baracus. He was great. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, Thank let's you. go to medium. Uh, yes. All right, medium. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, this word right here, please. Um, wheelchair. Yes, that is a wheelchair. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, what is a wheelchair used for? Uh, used for... Uh, I can't walk, no? Yes, yes, for people who cannot walk. Yes. Yeah, great job, mediums. So, yeah, it's for mm. people who can't walk. And and sometimes um, uh, for those, uh, so those who can never walk or those who may have broken legs, all right, and they mm. need something to transport themselves on. Okay, uh, there are different types of uh, of wheelchairs. There's electronic that has a uh, remote uh, or a control so that they don't have to push it with their arms. All right, but they can do it with a uh, a uh, remote or a, a a joystick. So let me uh, let me see here. Okay, so this here is going to be an electronic wheelchair. So you see here, uh, it has a joystick, and this uh, controls it controls the wheels down here so that they can turn in certain in certain ways. Okay, so this is a joystick. It's like a, a steering wheel. Okay, and they use it with one hand. Okay, <laughs> um, other others don't have um, other that and 
and they're similar to what we see there. Okay. These would be the wheelchairs. Now, there's also sports wheelchairs. Yeah, that's what I was going to get at. So sometimes they play basketball in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're specially designed for playing sports. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're really cool. All right. These guys do some really awesome stuff. Okay. So, yes, uh, wheelchairs uh, um, help help those who cannot walk all right uh, yes so for for those who are disabled okay so medium let me have you word mm -hmm. use the word wheelchair in a sentence okay um, my grandmother has got a electric wheelchair uh, good my grandmother has got an electric wheelchair yes very good thank you Thank you. Uh, all right, let's go to Samantha. And uh, this is our yes. last one for transportation, okay? So go ahead and, and read this word, please. Yacht. Yes. So class, the C-H is silent here. The word is yacht. Okay? Now, okay. What, what is a yacht used for? Mm, it's used for uh, travel uh, in on the sea, in the sea. Yeah, it's used for traveling, uh, traveling in the sea. Yes. And um, and these these it, are usually or typically very expensive. Yes, right? very expensive. Yes. So. They have a lot of really cool features, all right? Things that uh, uh, that you wouldn't have with a regular uh, a regular boat. Yeah, but these would be these would be yachts. These are yachts here. Very very expensive, uh, very uh, very big and lavish. Okay, things like that. All right, so um, uh, let's see. Um, Samantha, let me have you use the word yacht in a sentence, okay? Uh, in my country, um, people very rich have a yacht. Okay, so uh, people uh, who are, and you would need to say who are, so people who, who are, are very rich yes. have yachts. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so people who are very rich have yachts. Very good. Okay. Yes. And, and yes, it's it's usually those who are who are wealthy that have the yachts. Okay. So we are we are done with our transportation, um, our transportation and travel words. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my my next one here. We're gonna be going over buildings. Oh, where did you go? Buildings and here we are. So buildings and uh, buildings and places. Okay, uh, I'm not able to. Uh, uh, I wasn't able to load this up on on the uh, on the screen. Ah, dang it. Um, on the, sorry, not on the screen, but on the uh, on the. Uh, in the class materials, I kept trying, but it but it wasn't letting me do so. All right, so give me one second here. Get to. All right, so uh, we're only going to be able to look at this on my screen. All right, and I won't have any of the other special features. Okay, so um, we're going to be talking about um, uh, places and uh, or buildings and places, and more importantly, things that we find inside of those places. So, talking about restaurants, the supermarket, um, uh, the bank, okay, stores that we find in the cities, things like that. Okay, and so uh, just a, a lot of different. Uh, a lot of different vocabulary words here, okay? So let me see if I can zoom in a bit. And, yeah, it's not going to let me 
You do that very nicely. Okay, so our, our first word we're going to take a look at is right here. Oh, didn't do it. Dang it. Okay, so can you can you guys see this okay? All right, so let's go to uh, Vincenzo. Uh, what is our first word here? Vincenzo, can you hear me okay? Okay, let's go to let's go to Bruno. Uh, Bruno, yes. what is the, that uh, that first item? Uh, air mail. Uh, yes, air mail. Okay, and uh, air mail. And I do apologize when I uh, switch out; it uh, it doesn't. Let me go back. Okay, so uh, air mail. Now, air mail. Uh, this is something that we used to use a lot. Okay, most of us don't write letters anymore. Okay. But uh, I know about 10 years ago when I was living in Argentina, I, uh, I wrote uh, mail back to my family that lived in the United States, and, uh, and I used air mail to do so, okay? And it usually has, it usually has a, uh, a border that's around the side that looks like this, okay? Yeah. And that means that it's uh, being sent uh, in an airplane, Okay, and okay. then and that's how how, uh, how we used to send uh, send mail. I, I don't know if you guys uh, remember that. Uh, is there anybody uh, left in class that uh, that sends uh, sends mail? Okay, does anybody still send letters? No. <laughs> no, everyone. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Can you can you remember back about ten years ago? Did you write letters to to anybody then? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. More often than yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. So I about ten, about two thousand, two thousand to two thousand three or so. Um, you know, ten, ten to thirteen years ago, I, I was still writing letters. I would write letters to people instead of using email. Even though email was very, very, very huge, I didn't have my first email address when I was until I was like twenty one. 21, 22. So I didn't use email all that much, but yes, it was uh, it was it was popular. So uh, we used to send mail, and it, when you send it to a different country, you can send it via air mail. Okay. So um, Bruno, let me have you use the word air mail in a sentence. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ten years ago, I used it to send uh, to my family air mails to to give uh, news about me. Okay, very good. And we would say used, used to give, so that uh, um, it, that would be more of like a T sound. Used to, used to send airmail. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's let's go to Esther. And Esther, what is this word right here? An air mattress. An air mattress. And what does it look like that person is doing? Um, for. For <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, now he's got his hands in the water. Okay. Uh, some places have uh, have community pools. Um, you may have a pool in your city that you can pay a little bit of money and go swimming at. All right. Some of you may actually have a pool in your excuse me in your backyard. All right. But yes, yeah. we would use an air mattress to float on. How to flow? Oh, okay. All right, and so he's he's floating on the water with an air mattress. All right, and uh, yeah, I would I used to do that a lot when I was younger because I lived in Arizona and it would get really really hot. Okay, yeah. so yeah, air mattresses were great, and we would float in the water. You can also use those in the ocean. That would be another place. So yeah. talking about places and buildings. So the the community swimming pool. Okay. We could say community swimming pool. Com community swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, as well as community swimming pool as well as the ocean, okay? okay? Could use these at. And the verb that we use is to float. So let me have you use this word uh, air mattress in a sentence. An air mattress is used for 
for f uh, fluid, fluid, fluid in the in the in the in the water. Yeah, so floating. Flo okay, floating in the water. Uh, can can you can you type, please? Sure, Just definitely. Floating? Okay, so our, our bait is float. Okay. Okay, and that would be floating like that. Floating. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, class, uh, we are out of time for, for this hour. Thank you for coming to class. Uh, tomorrow we're co we'll continue with, uh, with our, uh, our buildings and places and items um, uh, vocabulary, and we'll do the same thing and, and talk about the words and, uh, and increase your vocabulary, okay? All right, guys, mm -hmm. thank you. We'll see you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much.